Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a critical report to share with you guys, one with regard to the economy. As you guys are already well aware, a lot of things are happening, especially in light of everything that's going on. Let me just show you a couple of articles here. Here we have Forbes.com. Inflation has not shown up yet, but it's coming. Here's another article here, msn.com. Consumers pay higher prices in February, CPI shows as inflation keeps creeping. And of course, we have jobs here at USA Today. Unemployment cities uh, have permanently lost over 400,000 jobs during COVID-19 pandemic as many shift to the suburbs. And of course, your gas prices are going up thanks to the Democratic Party. This is always seems to what happened when Democrats get in. And uh, with that, I just just really want to hone in on the economy and what's going on. So I've brought in an expert to kind of give me a kind of a rundown on everything you just heard. And that's Bob Kudla with TradeGeniusAcademy.com. So Bob, are you with me over there? I am, Lisa. Good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> well, you heard all the articles that I put forward. I mean, so much is happening. So I wanted to bring you on because you have all the insight. You're, you're, you deal with the economy on a daily basis and you offer an amazing product at Trade Genius Academy, which I can't stress enough for everyone to check out because it really teaches you how to be and invest in the stock market. And I believe you even have an amazing special. If they use the code MARCH, you can get up to 45% off, which which is huge. But that said, uh, what do you think in regards to these articles by Forbes and inflation and all of that? Yeah, so, you know, inflation is much higher than what everybody is, is saying because they don't want to tell you the truth because that means they'd have to raise interest rates even higher to suppress inflation. And number two, your, your article on employment, I think um, USA Today has it right. You know, we just, they, we have structural changes now in the economy. People are not going to go back. You know the the bad news about what they did with with us in COVID. It, you know, it turns out to be there's some good things that came out of it. People realize they don't have to go to an office anymore. They don't have to live in a city anymore. They don't have to uh, have a structured nine to five job. And companies are finding out that you know what, I didn't need as many people as I thought because my producers are producing at a higher rate and I can get rid of the people that just can't, you know, hack it anymore. So and I'll give you an example. So my daughter is a coach at an ice skating rink here in, in Southern California. And they, they had to lock down everything because it was considered a non-essential. When they opened back up again, he found out that he's just as profitable with 30% less employees. And he said, I'll never go back. I just restructured my business completely. And so I think a lot of companies are doing that. And especially now, you know, I mean, look, we've been in a quote unquote expansion now th since 2009. And people are a little afraid now. The Democrats are all but telling us that they're, they're going to put more regulations on the economy. They're going to shift economy to a, a uh, more equitable kind of environment and and you know that all spells more cost for business so they're going to be more careful so I, I agree i don't think there's going to be no boom in in the jobs i think they're going to eke along and the costs are going to go much higher than people think i don't know you know in the construction i'm remodeling my home right now and it, it's costing me 40 percent more than it would have if i did it two years ago and so it's uh you know people can't absorb those costs especially if you're middle class or lower middle class Gasoline out here is over four dollars. When Trump was in office, we were under three. You know that that's a tax on people. Food prices are now, you know, six and a half percent right now and climbing. You know, people aren't they're not getting uh, raises, so everything's going to get squeezed. So I think the Fed and and the Democrats have put themselves into a box. I think the Fed's in a panic. In all honesty, I mean, would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, absolutely. They have no. They have, they have two really poor choices. Do they defend the, the, the bond market, which then tanks the stock market, or do they defend the stock market, which causes interest rates to spike, and then eventually then also tanks the stock market? So because, you know, 40% of all companies, Lisa, most people don't know this, can't they're not making enough money even to pay their um, interest on the debt that they took on to push their stock prices higher. So when, when the interest rates on the 10 year went to 1.6% last week, that's why you all of a sudden you had this huge sell off in the market. 
to companies that can't handle it. And so the Fed now has, they, they, have a, they have really one choice. I have to defend the bond market. And that means then you have the situation where inflation is expanding faster than the 10 year, which then puts inflation into play. So then you get inflation without jobs and that's called stagflation. You're way too young to know what that is. Uh, when I was a kid, that's what the thing. Gasoline prices went up 400 percent. You know, your, your parents were on strike all the time because uh, they're trying to get more money out of the companies. The companies can't raise prices fast enough to cover the cost. And it's, it's a really a ugly situation. And, and I think that's what that's what the Fed and that's what Democrats are going to put us into again. We're going to go into what's called stagflation. That's that's terrifying because, you know, it, it, it did cause harm and whatnot to many families all across the country. And um, I mean, and if we're and I can't say that I disagree with you. I mean, it's going to be one wild year and, and then and for the next four years with these Democrats in charge. I mean, we've got them now House, Senate, you know, they've got Congress, they've got the executive office uh, and um, the, the stuff that they've it's just spend money, spend money, spend money. Well, you can't just spend into oblivion, but they're doing it anyway. Uh, but either way, I, I can't say I disagree with you at all. And, um, you know, about where we're headed now, I know that. Goldman Sachs put out this article, and I just want to throw it up because I'm going to get your opinion on it. Goldman Sachs, CNBC.com. Goldman Sachs forecast a job boom, <laughs> says unemployment rate could fall to 4.1% by the end of 2020. What's your take on that one? Yeah, whatever Goldman Sachs tells you, you know, you're, you're more profitable to do the opposite. So I don't <laughs> know what they're thinking. You know, they're, they're taking people that were baristas and bartenders and they're gonna put them into the Green New Deal jobs. I don't think they realize that means that's hard work, that's outside work, that's on roof work, that's work that's not done in the cities. So, you know, the expectation is that they're gonna create all these Green New Jobs is, is, um, is ludicrous. And I have experience here. I owned a solar energy company for 17 years. And, uh, and I know how hard work it is. You, you, you have, it takes a certain person to wanna to come to work every single day to climb on roofs or to dig holes and, and to run wires. And, you know, I fear our generation, um, they don't do it. I, we cycle through so many people till we found the right person that would show up the next day after working on a hundred degree roof all day long. So I, I just don't see it happening. I think they're going to be bitterly disappointed. And I think it's going to be a lot slower than people think it is. And the Green New Deal, there's only certain parts of the country where it works. You know, it's in the Southwest, solar works. In the Midwest, wind works. In the Northeast, nothing works. So people are gonna have to move. You know, and we saw with Texas, you know, you, you could freeze the windmills. And and so I, I just think that they're just, um, this is just some sort of a pipe dream they have. Like they always have a climate change, you know. That was the lie before the pandemic lie. So. Uh, yeah. It's just not going to work, and and so I think they're going to they're going to find out just like they did with with Clinton and with Obama with Solyndra. Do you remember that one where they shoved a half a billion dollars into a company that never went anywhere? It, these are all just going to be payoffs to the um, to the to, to the mob bosses in the Democratic Party, and and nobody's going to get jobs from it. Unfortunately, that's my view. I'm I'm a little you know really suspect that they think they can pull it off. I, I agree with you. So how do people protect themselves? At, you know, because you, you offer a, a Trade Genius Academy, and I know it's really helped a lot of people. So can you explain how that helps people through troubling times that we're about to go through? Yeah, I mean, so the first thing we do is you got to be in the right sector. You know, you can make a lot of money just being in the right place at the right time. And look, we know a couple things, Lisa. We know that the Fed's going to keep um, buying everything the Democrats are going to print. And, and we know that they have to cap interest rates. So we know there's going to be inflation. And at the same time, you know, we have this grand solar minimum coming, whatever they want to call it. It's, it's starting to have an effect on the, the crop growing regions around the world. And what we've seen and what we've been trading is we've been in the fertilizer stocks. There's a boom in uranium, um, you know, with um, all the nuke plants being built. And then, as you know, cryptocurrency has been booming and there's miners that are publicly traded companies. So we've been focusing on those three areas. And what we do is we just apply our algorithm to it. And our algorithm is really simple. It looks at buying pressure, it looks at selling pressure. We don't care about the news. We don't care about what's going on. If we see price moving based on people moving into it or money moving into it, we 
we buy the stocks in those sectors and then we let the we let the system tell us what to do and it works out really well for us i mean we our our track record speaks for itself so uh then those areas are going to be they're good you know so food inflation energy inflation and and monetary inflation you protect yourself by being in those companies that are going to are in those industries and you're going to be ahead of the game i mean we've already had doubles in all of those areas and and we don't see that changing anytime soon. Stay away from tech. Uh, when interest rates go up, uh, tech has a hard time. Plus, you know, the regulatory backlash on big tech is, is starting to happen now with all uh, the censorship and, and the things that they've done. You have states like Florida, now Texas. You know, there's 30 states that are run by Republican governors and legislatures. I would suspect all of them are going to have anti-censoring laws in place before the next election. And, you know, that's going to put a lot of pressure on those companies. Maryland, which is a Democratic state, wants to tax the um, the big tech companies uh, on their advertising revenue. So everybody's going to be going after these guys. They're, they're, um, they're not going to have the same kind of growth they've had in the past. And if we go into recession, their ad revenues are going to suffer. So um, tech's can, not an area where people want to put their money. So. If you're in the market, you want to shift to those areas that are inflation oriented and you want to get out of tech and you'll do well. And if you join us, uh, in addition to the 45 percent off March code, uh, Lisa, we have bundles we put together that are 65 percent off. So we trade cryptos. We trade the stock market. We trade the futures and, and people could join us. We have experts in each of those areas. And uh, and what we do is, you know, we're just not hey you know, join us. We'll throw you some education. We have you know, chat rooms. We provide trade signals every day so that we help people see what we see. So as you're learning, you can make money off the trades that we're taking as as well. So it's a pretty integrated package. We've been doing this a long time. You know me for a long time. It's uh we're going into our seventh year of doing this and and um, the system works great and you get up running really fast if you're a new trader. And if you're an experienced trader you can join a room with a lot of other experienced traders and, and really build your game to the next level. Absolutely, and here's kind of um, the website here you guys can see on the screen. And they got a number, 800-949-1408. Just uh, make sure you mention my name on there, but um, lots of packages and things that you guys can definitely check out there that I would encourage you um, because it really is educational. And like you said, you, you're sharing, how shall I say, a lot of secrets that are privy only to a few. I mean, because we have Goldman Sachs and these big uh, corporations, big bankers telling people to do one thing while profiting off of what they're telling people behind the scenes because they normally, like you said, do the opposite, right? And so yeah. that's why I truly appreciate you and what you do. And I would encourage everybody, if you want to beat this financial uh, tsunami that is headed in our direction, so to speak, it's already here in part, but if you want to try to, to, to you, know, you know, ride outside of everything that we're going to see inflation, then you want to learn some of the things that uh, Bob Bob Kudla offers at TradeGeniusAcademy.com. So I really want to encourage you to, guys to check that out. And you said 45 to 65 percent off, depending on the package, using the code March, correct? Yeah. And if you go to bundles, you don't have to put in a promo code. But if you want to buy anything individually, you go ahead and, and put March in there and we'll automatically apply it. You can call us. You can chat. You can email us. We'll help you get the right package. And as you know, Lisa, we we price our products pretty modestly, so it, it's affordable for for everybody. So um, we put the return on investment in your favor. So I, I think you'll like what we do, and, and I think you'll uh, you'll definitely benefit from from our insight, our algorithms, and and um, and you know where we think the uh, the hockey puck is going here in the in the next six to nine months. Awesome. And well, I, I, I am so thankful for people like you because it really does give me more insight from somebody who knows what they're talking about in regards to the economy. And it is, you know, you, you've got things coming at you from all different directions. Yes, inflation is coming. No, it isn't. I mean, depending on who you talk to. And I tend to lean with exactly what you said, uh, stagflation and, and, and the things that we could see. So it's just, you know, seeing that coming again, it's always great to be prepared. So so anyhow, um, thank you again for coming on the broadcast, Bob. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, Lisa, thanks, and, and have a great day. 
You too. And thanks again for you guys being a part and, and joining the channel here. And if you guys want to check out any of the information on uh, Trey Genius Academy, make sure you check that out in the description box below or give them a call and let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven and that's Bob Kudla signing out.